This video is about a condition called bilateral vestibular loss. First, we'll make sense of the name and learn a little bit about the vestibular system. Second, we'll look at the symptoms associated with bilateral vestibular loss. And finally, we'll talk about causes and treatment. The vestibular system is the part of the inner ear responsible for sensing orientation and the movements of the head. We have two inner ears, one on each side, so bilateral vestibular loss is a loss of function of the vestibular system on both sides. A healthy vestibular system has two primary functions. The first is balance. Along with the senses of sight and touch, the direct sense of head motion through the vestibular system allows the body to smoothly adjust posture as needed. The second function is vision stabilization. It's easy to take it for granted that we can move and turn our head while keeping our eyes focused on an object, but we have our vestibular system to thank for that. That direct sensation of head movement is what lets the brain smoothly move the eyes in their sockets to compensate for head motion. Now that you know about the function of the normal vestibular system, you might be able to guess what the symptoms are like when vestibular function is lost. First, any activity that requires balance can become more difficult, including everyday activities like walking. Thankfully, sight and touch also contribute to balance, but patients with bilateral vestibular loss do tend to do much worse in the dark or when they don't have solid ground underneath them. Second, vision can become unsteady. During many activities, again, including walking, the head bobs slightly. Without the vestibular system, the eyes can't adjust as quickly to these head movements, so the visual field moves around with the head, creating a shaking or oscillating effect. Notably, vertigo is not a typical symptom of bilateral vestibular loss. Vestibular loss on one side can cause vertigo because the brain then receives asymmetrical signals, but since bilateral vestibular loss affects the inner ear on both sides fairly evenly, it usually doesn't cause vertigo symptoms. Bilateral vestibular loss has many possible causes, many of which are other health issues that may require attention of their own. So it's important to see a qualified practitioner to figure out what the cause is. Common causes include neurologic diseases and infections, brain tumors, autoimmune diseases, certain types of antibiotics, and exposure to heavy metals or jet fuel. Current treatment for bilateral vestibular loss is centered around physical therapy, aimed at helping patients strengthen their ability to balance using their other senses. Fall prevention is also very important, so good lighting, handrails, and an environment with uncluttered floors can go a long way toward promoting safety. Also, there's currently research toward developing a prosthetic device to restore vestibular function. Similar to a cochlear implant, where a prosthesis is inserted into the cochlea to treat hearing loss, a vestibular implant would be inserted into the vestibular system. That's it for this video. More information on bilateral vestibular loss can be found on the website of the UCSF Balance and Fall Center. Thanks for watching.